This video is brought to you by Madhouse Collectibles. So here's Deformation Space Zero Two Recording Alliance, aka Blaster, from the uh, G1 cartoon. Um, as with a lot of my last few unboxing videos, unfortunately this guy comes out of the box with nothing to do as well. He comes in the box like this, there's nothing to adjust, you just pull him out of the box and you can start doing whatever it is that you want to do with him. His buddy uh, Ramhorn, uh, as he's known in the G1 cartoon, uh, I don't know what this is called because the instructions don't actually, or the box for that matter, doesn't actually give him a name. I suppose we could call him DS02B, um, but I don't know what kind of nickname to give him. But anyway, uh, his feet and legs are tucked in a way, uh, into his body, so he comes in this lunchbox cube looking, uh, energon cube looking shape if you want. So the only thing you need to do is just to rotate the legs and feet, uh, down into their proper position. Very simple, looks like this. And just as easy as that, uh, you got to play with the uh, the legs and the feet a bit to get them to let them stand up. But there you go. Um, initial impressions of this guy. Um, the so the first thing that caught my attention was 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 the paint. It uh, it's all very matte. It it does have the same feel of the paint that was on the Deformation Space Seekers. Uh, it feels. Um, it feels matte, um, if matte has a feeling. Uh, it does seem like it has that same toughness that the, um, Seeker guys had. Uh, like I commented on, I, I transformed the Starscream one, I don't know how many times, Crimson Wings, I don't know how many times. Uh, and the paint held up really well, so I'm going to expect the same thing from this as well. The head sculpt's really, really nice. There's some blue chrome uh, eyes going on there, and, and a really nice head sculpt very much captures the G1 cartoon aesthetic. Um, and, and the details overall uh, look really, really good as well. Um, don't, didn't get a chance to look at the, uh, the cartoon depiction. I think this is right. Like, it's always the hips that seem to vary between the various blasters that we see. I mean, we only have one other masterpiece blaster to compare to, right? And that's that's Keith's Factory, uh, Fantasy Club, uh, KFC, uh, to compare it to. Actually, you know what? I, I, I'm totally curious now. Give me one sec. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, there's the KFC one. So, yeah, so the... The hips are a lot smaller here, right? Like, there's a whole block going on here. And I, I seem to remember... That was one of the things that I noticed when I looked at the cartoon depiction. And this one was... This seemed, like, a lot smaller than what it was supposed to be, although it captured the two brick, like, you know, rectangle details. Um, but I wonder now if this is correct or is this toy accurate. So I'll... 
I had to look into that for the review. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I will look into it. Uh, what else? What else can we look at? So speakers are down here. It feels really solid. Uh, first thing I noticed I pulled out of the box it was solid. It's not overly heavy. Like it's not fans toys heavy, but it's heavy. Like it feels sturdy. Again, right? Like nothing's flopping around here. Um, heads on, heads kind of stiff. It's on some kind of a ball joint. This must pop open, does it? Ha ha, nice. Okay, so we've got a chest cavity, obviously, for, you know, ram horn here to uh, fit inside of. Uh, looks like there's, yeah, okay, so there's some kind of an eject mechanism going on. There's a lot of nice details going on in there, too. Right, like, like cassette details, there's like some gear details that are up here as well. That's really, that's a nice uh, addition I wasn't uh, expecting there. Um, Hmm, I don't see... Okay, so I locked that into place, and I don't... I don't see a way to release it, so... Huh, okay, well... I will find that out in the review, I guess, as I go over this guy. Uh, but yeah, that single button on it... Wow, that is... That is a quick release. <laughs> Almost violent. A little hinge over there on the side, okay. Uh, nice movement in the shoulders all the way up. That's cool. No butterfly. Oh, hard ratchet in the shoulders. Excellent. Wow, this is... Oh, my God, this thing is so stiff. Could use a little bit of lubricant. This looks like a double elbow joint. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Fully articulated fingers, thumb, ball joint. Um... I gotta tell you, like, I mean, so as frustrating as the Seekers were, uh, this is their second, this is Deformation Space's second figure now, and I gotta say, like, this is impressive quality. Um, again, I'm not sure how I feel about this, this paint, like, this matte feeling paint, because it probably scratched, especially the red, like, I, I remember the red on the Crimson Wings, it's, it, it, it didn't scratch, but it, it, like, marked easily. Like it was almost like a chalkboard feeling to it, but anyway. Um, hmm, no. Alright, well we have an ab crunch. I don't think there's a waist... Oh, wait a second. Is the waist swivel up above? Oh, look at that, waist swivel. Okay. So we have a waist swivel and an ab crunch. Double bend at the elbow. Double bend at the knee. So again, like deformation space is impressing me a bunch. Uh, that they would just come out of the gates and just swing for the fences to try to compete in this, in, in, in what I would consider an established market uh, between KFC, Fans Toys, and MMC. Um, and these guys are just going to dive right in here and try to take a stab at all of this. Back is super clean. Like, these, all these flat panels. But I guess that's easy to do, potentially, with, um, with Blaster. Um, although I, I don't think KFC did a very good job of the back. And compared to this, like, this is just super clean. Really nice. Not a whole bunch of details going on throughout, but enough to make it impressive. Colors are all in the right place, right, as far as I can remember. There's little details down here, like these two red circles, right, the, the speaker holes. Um, yeah, I'm curious where the handle is hiding. Like, the handle that goes on top of his alt mode must be in the back of the legs somewhere. Um, anyway, like, this is... I like it. Um, I don't, I don't absolutely hate it. I wasn't, I like my, you know, again, my first experience with deformation space was the seekers. The transformation was awful. I absolutely hated it. Um, but, uh, their figures so far, including this one, impressive. And I don't absolutely hate this. The paint, I think, is the thing that's holding me back. But initial impression is I like this. And I'm interested to get into the transformation and the rest of the review, um, I, I kind of wish everything wasn't so... So, st I guess it's just, well, I guess it's just the bicep swivel is really stiff, because everything else seems, and there's a thigh swivel too. Um, no... 
Oh no, it looks like there might be an ankle. Oh yeah, okay, no, there we go. Yeah, again, uh, this is stiff as well. The, the ankle rocker is really, really stiff. So there's parts of this that are like really, really stiff and other parts that are just fine. Um, so anyway, it seems like a solid figure. I will definitely do a review on this. So uh, if, if you like these videos, guys, again, uh, please make sure to like the videos down below because it does, uh, does help out a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe either uh, because I will have more videos coming, transformation videos, as well as a full review on, on this guy. Um, and once again, uh, this is Transformers Masterpiece Theater. I'm the Rusty Mechanic, and we'll see you next time.